Alright, welcome back to XD. We're doing more Pal Sims. I don't know, I'd like to finish them off up just like right now, but I'm only halfway through, so. We'll see if I can do it in this session. Hey, lady. Let me choose another Pal CD. Jeez. So, yeah, we're pretty far. As in half a play far. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So no signs of beast idea. A slacking pair. They're tough, they aren't true on So what does that mean? No oh, really, what does that mean? Turn them double battle. I have to offset their true want. I think that's what it is. Okay, what I'm currently seeing is spend the first three turns just offsetting Truant. I'm not entirely sure. Look, I just have to go for this one. I'm not entirely sure, just looking at, at it, so... So, figure it out as I go along, battle. Koki! Back in the desert. Okay, so let's just immediately swap out to Explow. And then... Let's see what happens if I use Shadow Ball on a normal type. Maybe when they're using Protect. Using protect like I expected. Okay. Deals with protect before. Or the. Before not effect. 
think. And yeah, because that's how slacking be. That's how slacking be. Hey, Dust Bobs, how's it going? Can I roar on someone who's... Hmm. Yeah, it'd probably be faster just to roar slacking. Get out of here. And now, Truant has been offset. Let's get the spops out of here again. Yeah, you send that Blissey back out. Wow, attacking the one who actually attacks? How dare you. Alright, now I'll s let's just swap out normally. because they're awful like that. Which was? Which slacking switch? I think the first one is the one that hasn't chosen the move yet. Wow. So yeah, they just all get one shot. Oh yeah, I guess it's very obvious which one had chosen moves, the one that took recoil damage. I mean, sure, yeah, that, like, choice band I and they had probably made, made a huge difference for one-shotting, but that's still very powerful. Congratulations, you cleared the battle, CD. You have this Ultra Ball. It may fail all to help you catch Dragon Knight. Twenty-seven. Big Bang sorry. Surviving self-destruct is the key. Think I can survive self-destruct, huh? Oh. I think conversion 2 turns you into an enemy type. Hmm. Not sure what Hitmonlee is gonna do. I mean, Hitmonlee wants to do... Two turn limit! Oh boy. I'm... 
can guess Dusclops is going to be really hard to kill. So... And they both use protect. Why? Okay. This does not look good. Oh boy. Sim trainer for Barstow. Go Orion too and hit Mon Lee. Okay, we've got pressure. Let's go conversion two and hope that gives me ghost. Let's go foresight on dusk Ops. And wait, you can protect from foresight. Why? And that failed. Let's try this again. Because maybe foresight will make it so that self destruct will kill Dusclops. How did conversion 2 fail again? I actually don't know why conversion 2 failed. But I did kill Dusclops. Dude. Oh, you did. That guy was like cheering like he won, but like, he definitely lost. If I lost, he lost as well. Good advice. Oh, That's what that does. I thought I just turned you into an enemy's type. Okay, I see what I'm supposed to do then. Alright, yep, send your, your little idiots back out. And like, this time I got Rockhead. So let's go conversion two and tackle on Porygon. Yeah, take it Porygon. Strategizing, beating myself up. Ooh, ghost type, perfect. Now you can't harm me. Ooh. I don't know, like a Psybeam Dusk Lops or something. I gotta make sure I foresight Dusk Lops. Yeah. No, I want Foresight Porygon so that it takes the self destruct anyway. Good 
I does cops. Yeah, congratulations. You fucking killed yourself. What an excellent trainer. I mean, I guess to be fair, how often do you expect someone to have foresight? Never. That's how often. So... So yeah, he did build... He did make his... His second Pokemon immune to self-destruct, but... That we were just like, nope, we have... Uh, foresight. I mean, there was a fan game called Dark Rising Kaizo. It was like, I specifically he taught one of my Pokemon foresight just so it could it be he totally at four. That was that was a fun game actually. Despite being hard, it was. The Kaizo version was well made. The original version, and I heard has a lot of bad problems, was that the Kaizo version removed. Oh well, let's go 28. Bomb Squad, prevent the opponent's explosion. Again? Hi, Electrode, with your choice band. It's not a choice scarf. Hmm. Hmm. You are incredibly fast. I see enemy moves that I could stop it, but I'm looking at my allies and I don't see a goddamn thing I can do. I wonder if Psyduck would have damn, which would prevent explosion. Alright. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking... Either... Or you take out... One of the opponent's Pokemon... Just right off the bat... And just immediately follow... Up with another attack to that same spot to... One shot Electrode. Or, you take out both Ariados and Zatu on the same turn, and maybe Psyduck has damp, which would prevent explosion from working. Those are my two ideas for how this is going to work. So, I'm going to... Try the side of like having damp idea first. Because that seems more likely to me right now. Alright, let's begin. Sim Trainer Brago would like to battle.
So now Ariados and Zadzu. Alright, let's say I would try the other strategy. Who would be better at doing it? So, Fair Alligator would be the better choice for doing the second hit, but it would have to be Slash. Whereas you at least have stab strength. So, yeah, I'm feeling Psyduck having damp is the most likely choice here. Alright, for it. It's like ferret, but made of fur. Fur it! That did not do as much as I expected. Two, three, four. Okay, but you know what? This is fine. Oh no, no, we're... I'm actually starting to feel a bit worried about that future site coming around. It's too time. Let's uh, surf, and this time swift. Great, more defense downs. Just what I always wanted. Goodbye, Ariados. And, yep, it's a good thing I went for a serve. And, bam, goodbye, Zatu. Yeah, and now we've got Psyduck on the field. Oh, if you just... Oh, there's the damage. I was about to say, that didn't do much. And then it did. Let's just beat up Electrode. Yay, Psyduck did have damn. And now Electro can't explode anymore. So yeah, probably wasn't gonna one shot on it. Uh nah, Fair Alligator has higher physical than special attack. Yeah. Frego. Lego, my Frego. All right. So, another one taken down. It's 28 now. Thanks for timer ball, old person. Those are actually useful in this game because now you're catching Pokemon on when 
in the end, you have to go through like five others just to bring them out. So suddenly you are taking turns before you catch. Madcap Magikarp splashes all any Magikarp does. Oh, but the trick is to take it out in five turns. Okay, so Smeargle's going to Mind Reader and then Fissure, the level 48. Let's feel. And Poliwhirl. Ooh! So, Poliwhirl needs to mimic one of these two. To learn their one shot move. I wish I could read the scripture of Mind Reader. It's. I know it guarantees that your next. Oh, wait, it only works on the next hit. So what the fuck's the point of the baton pass? I don't know. Some trainer death cell would like to battle. Sent out magic carp and magic carp. Miracle and spew. Hmm. I'm curious. Mind reader. But like, does it work for allies or do you have to use it yourself? Let's find out. Okay, no, you have to use it yourself. Or use it for yourself. Alright, just keep trying to share phone number 49. But yeah, this is... Actually... Three... No, this... No, because I used Mind Reader on the wrong target on the first, first turn, I don't have enough turns left to actually win. Oh, let's get his buy something. Wait, it can? Really? But it only lasts one turn, how does it get the ton pass? That's weird. Okay. 
Okay, Smeargle, Mind Reader, the 49, Spiel, Swap out to Poliwhirl, I guess. Maybe. Oh, you also have Mind Reader. Shift then. Nothing happened. Okay, so this can be weird, but it's a baton pass. And yeah, Mimic has to learn it, learn one of the actual attack moves. So, yeah, I guess I'll just use Mind Reader to I'll spend a turn. One of my precious turns. And if this idea doesn't work, I'm gonna go back to my original idea. Sheer cold to 49. Polyworld's gonna be faster, so I have to mind read her again. You need to stay in an X. No, I'm straight up out of turns. The strategy this did not work at all. See if I can hit this one. Nope, I lose. That's it. Now turns. So the strategy I came up with from getting advice was not worth it. you'd see a team of magic harps win before did you so smeriel is just going to uh, use fisher for themselves And no one of the five share cults have to hit at the uh, level 49. Alright. Mind Reader. Sheer cold. Game. 
Oh my god, the first one hit. Are you serious? Oh my god. Now it's like not even worth you like fit. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it doesn't specifically say that it doesn't harm anything higher level in the description. Okay, let's just go ahead and kill it. Actually, here's an idea. Oh wait, well, how much... What's your speed compared? You are faster. Okay, just swap it immediately. Yep, you just keep splashing away. You useless magic arps. Wow, what a fisher. Uh, well, we can just use fisher again just to be sure. And now probably we're on those fisher. Magic card is unaffected because it's two levels higher. I don't know, I guess Mind Reader. And yeah, it's only turn four, so I have a turn to use Mind Reader right now. Yeah, double fisher. And goodbye, magic harp. Yeah, that's just like not even a, a hole in the ground. And goodbye, Dassel. Wait, seriously, Dassel did. Oh, well, looks like he did not get dressed in the morning. Yay, there goes 29. Give us that elixir. Now what? Snorlax. Woo. Wanna give me anything else? No? Okay. And now for number 30. Shedinja and Raticate. Find that winning combination. Oh boy. Okay, I'm glad Shedinja has Sandstorm to instantly kill itself. I don't even know what eradicate why eradicate exists. Okay, they're both gonna open up with Calm Mind or with Detect. It's a four turn limit double battle. All my special attack and special defense. Then meditate is attack and special attack. Actually, meditate might just be attack. Oh 
Honestly, though, I'm not sure I understand what's happening on this. Seriously, why is shit then just so slow, though? Yeah, I don't know what I'm, s I'm supposed to do. Killing Shedinja with Sandstorm just seems like the wrong move. But at the same time, I don't know what the right move Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> I see it. That's fucking evil. Oh my god. But like, how many turns would that take? Let's say I started using that, like, turn one. So, first turn be nothing. Turn two. One of these is gonna be down to one HP. Turn three. One of them's dead, the other's down to 1 HP. Turn 4, they use detect again. So that's why Sandstorm. I gotcha, game. I gotcha. Let's use this battle CD. This is how you be evil with a Shedinja. Ekio? What? Eko? How do you pronounce that name? That name just looks like nonsense. Okay, Mimic, Radicate, Radicate, Use, Endeavor. Wow, so animated. Okay, Shedinja. Kill. Uh, I guess I could have you dig the metatite. And now Metatite has 1 HP. Cause Endeavor is scary. Yeah, goodbye the little diaper baby. And now, just use Sandstorm, I win. Let's just be toxic. Oh no, it protected itself. Let's try and protect itself from my toxicity. But too bad, it dies anyway. 
Yeah, this is why you don't teach a ninja sandstorm. Wow, what a spin thing you did for falling over. So yeah, that was Bow CD30, which means it's the end of part 6. Hooray! See you guys next time. Goodbye.